Yo, we locked in. It's due season. It's your boy Carl Anthony. I'm back with another video. Um, haven't done my regular talks with y'all in a minute. You saw the vlog the other day. Um, some I'm introducing to the to the to the channel. Um, yeah, a lot of things going on in the in the in the in the world of blackdom, black manhood. Um, Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion, I'm sure you know about that. And yes, Tory is completely trash. If he indeed did shoot Meg Thee Stallion, he gets no pass. No matter what she did to contribute to it, um, unless she pulled out a gun on him, it was no reason for him to shoot her. Men. Men, especially, okay, you men who have uh, some kind of inferiority complex, whether that be because you're short, um, uh, whether it be because you're fat, um, too dark, too light, bald, <laughs> whatever, whatever you think your inferiority is, right? If that is, and this is when it comes to women, man, uh, if you feel that some of these things are holding you back from uh, the respect that you feel that you deserve, right? It is in no way um, healthy for you to internalize those things from a standpoint of uh, looking for value through other people. Now, I don't know the situation or whatever happened between Meg and Tori. I don't know what level of, if there was like any levels of disrespect, you know, being displayed towards each other. It is not my speculation, but men, to be truly alpha, to be a, a, a real man, um, you have to learn how to control your emotions to a, to a T you're not really afforded the benefit of the doubt that um, you're handling handling yourself accordingly when you do things like shoot someone, a female, um, for whatever reason. Like I said, unless your life is being threatened, there is no true justification. I don't, call if she, I don't care if she calls you, you know, the B word, or even if she spat in your face, okay? You pick up a gun and shoot somebody with it, you're out of your mind. And hopefully that's the case. Hopefully he was just out of his mind. Hopefully he, hopefully he was literally, you know, too high, too drunk, too whatever, to make a, a, a supreme decision that makes any kind of sense. I'm hoping that was the case, you know? Um, Look, this is why getting on your purpose in, 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 a, in a pure way, in a pure way, is is, is more important than anything. Because um, if you in a, if you're allowing outside forces, whether that be people or the social circumstances around you, to dictate how you move in life, um, then it will always leave you in problematic. Uh, situations so hold your frame guys um, learn how to control your emotions it's not that men shouldn't be emotional it's it's that men should learn how to control and deal with their emotions a lot better than a woman 20 times better than a woman 100 times better than a woman you should now today in this day in this society today men are different men are not um, Men are not controlling themselves in the same way, man. I've, 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 I've witnessed men literally like crying over girls cheating on them and things like that. And, and it seems like he, in a younger, some of the younger YouTubers that, that talk about female nature and things like that, man, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing in their arenas, man, like they went, the women that they, that, they, that they are dealing with are, ooh, something else. 
I didn't have to, in my early 20s, man, I'm not saying I didn't have women to, I guess, maybe cheat on me or things like that. I've never really had to deal with things like that. Um, and the way you guys act over it, it's like, if I realized a girl didn't really want me um, and was or was over with me, I had some kind of dig dignity about myself, man. And I just left it alone. Like, all right, I'm not going to get played. You're not going to play me. You, you're trying to play me. And I'm going to allow you to play me if I react to it a certain way. So, I, you know, I always had that in my mind. I wasn't taught that by my father or anybody else. I just knew something in me knew to, to just, you know, handle myself accordingly and, 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 you know, brush it off. Sometimes it would hurt. Sometimes it would be like, you know, I would be puzzled. But I didn't let that get in my feelings to the point where I couldn't move on with my life, you know? You got to learn how to move on with your life, man. You know, things don't work out for everybody. Everybody's not meant for you. Sometimes you got to thank God, thank, thank the most high that, you know what, maybe you dodged a bullet by, by that girl treating you a certain kind of way because guess what? What if you what if you actually had a child with, with her and, or decided to marry her or anything like that and she really took you through the ringer? How would you feel then? You know? Um, also, the guy, I don't even, I don't know his name. Um, or maybe when I edit this video, I'll put his name in, in this portion right here. But the guy in Kenosha that got shot by the police seven times in his back. Man. You know, I'm, I'm at a loss for words because, you know, we're, we're in a state of, of the culture where black people are truly not valued um, by anybody, including by black people. Black people don't value black people. The, the, the powers that be truly don't value black people. Um, That's why, like, my philosophy on on life now is I used to be real gung ho about man, you know, man, stand up for your people, and I'm still for my people. But what I realized is the only thing you can truly do is control the immediate group around you, and through platforms like YouTube, like this, like what I'm doing now, I can add value to people in some capacity where, you know, you guys can, you know, uh, maybe you know, gain some kind of insight because of how I think, which can, you know, kind of help you in how you think. So that's the best way I can contribute. I can lead by example, show my son the way and uh, my daughter's the way and pray and hope that the outcome is fruitful in regards to how they live their life and hope that it trickles down to their offspring. You know, so look, we're not going to change the world, but you can change your immediate surroundings right now. You can do better for yourself and for your people, for your family, your kids, your brother, your sister, um, your friends. You can do better right now by how you move and how you handle yourself. So, um, until black people kind of group together and have some solidarity and unity us expecting people to give us justice is is a really a pipe dream and not to be all grim and you know negative it's just it, it really is a pipe dream you, you we have to understand that uh, life it's how it is because of, of years of circumstances, you know, trickle down effect, cause and effect. Um, you got to stop it in your own tracks. You can't, you know, it, it's noble to move for the whole race. It's very noble. I, I understand it. I get it. I support people who do, but I do know I can affect my immediate community, my immediate surroundings way better than I can the entire black race. 
way better than I can the entire racial political structure. And I feel like once you can really control your own base, then you can start helping to control other bases. So get get control of yourself, man. And um, I don't want to get too too deep with any of this conversation, man. But I just hope y'all just you know um, stay focused in these times, man. We in, we in some real weird times with the virus and the, the protests and the, you know all the all the stuff going on in this world, man. The madness. Stay focused. Drink water, do push-ups, pray, and go get your sleep. See you later.